Hi, Krista here. I am going to make um, some pizza tonight, so I thought I would record it. I'm going to make mine first, and then I'll make one for my family, but theirs won't be the same as mine. So let me get this started for you. You should see how I have to get my camera <laughs> to work. <laughs> the way I rigged it up is pretty funny. Okay, so <clears throat> this here is a um, Joseph's Pita. These are only one point. So I'm going to make my pizza on this. Um, I did it once before, and it was really good. So first thing I like to do is kind of like spray it a little bit on both sides because you know pizza like browns up right so we got that and then I am going to use um, this pasta sauce I have left this is the tomato and basil I got this at Aldi it's one point for a quarter of a cup but Honestly, I probably won't use that much, but um, I'll pour some in a quarter cup to see, but I, yeah. If I use less than that, then it'll actually be not even a point, which is good, right? So, let me grab a spoon. Okay. So, and this is kind of, I really like uh, red sauce but not necessarily pizza sauce because pizza sauce is kind of like really salty where I think this would taste better for me anyway. I mean, that's just my personal preference, but this has like chunks of tomatoes in it. See, that's all I'm gonna use. I think that's more than enough. Um, yum. Okay. And I am going to, besides make a mess, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder on this now because I want to get the edges and I got that spray already on there so I definitely want like my crust to be a little garlicky so we got that and then um, I'm going to put my pepperonis on. I have turkey pepperoni. This is the boar's head. Uh, these are one point for one ounce. So I measured out a half of an ounce, which is, gosh, quite a bit. Eight. Eight turkey slices. <laughs> I don't even know if I could fit eight on there. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll, maybe I'll cut them in half. These are real thin and they kind of curl up a little. I kind of like that, but I'm going to um, just kind of put these on here the best that I can. So I'm not going to count anything for these either because it's a one point for an ounce and this was only 0.5. So and look at that, there's still not even enough room on here for it all. <laughs> okay, that's all right, I'll eat these ones. And then, I got some real bacon bits here. For one teaspoon, it's zero points. For a tablespoon, it's one point, but it's not like I'm a huge meat eater, and this isn't gonna be very big, so this is fine. Look at that, yum. And then, I have my cheese, here we are fat-free mozzarella, and this is, um, I don't know, it's like some 84 grams or something like that for one point, so I'm certainly not going to even use enough for a point, but I decided to put this on the top, and the reason why, usually I would put the pepperonis on the top, but um, a lot of people talk about this fat-free cheese not melting very good. 
And then somebody gave a tip online that if you spray it with a little bit of spray, it has enough oil in it to melt it. So it, it kind of assists it in melting. So I'm going to do that. So that's why I put the, the cheese here on the top. seasoning on it. So this is a little bit of minced onion. I think I'd rather have this on there than like real onions because then I'd have big chunks in it and I really don't want that. This here is, um, sorry, Italian seasoning. I always put this on my pizza and everybody seems to like it in the house. So, And then, oh, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I had these mushrooms that I bought yesterday, and I don't know, I guess I didn't look at them close enough, and they were spoiled when I opened them. I just bought them yesterday, so I was disappointed, so I had to throw those out. I was going to put uh, some mushrooms on it. I'm telling you, like everything I've done today, <laughs> the, the universe does not want me to food prep, <laughs> I swear. All right, so then we're going to spray a little bit of this. So this is like one point, a one point pizza. I don't know, I might count it as two because I just feel guilty taking one point for it. But anyways, I'm gonna have a fantastic salad with it. So um, that's that. I bought these here for my family to eat. So I'm gonna make these three for them. Um, they're like mini pizzas, they're the mama, Cozies. I wonder how many smart points these are. Not well, I'm sorry. Blue plan points. Let's find out. Alright. These here are ooh, nine points for one. And that's with the sauce packet. I guess there's a sauce packet in here for each one. I won't be eating these. No. One point. That's what I'm saying. So, <clears throat> but I might use the rest of, uh, I might use this on theirs to at least cut down the sodium and stuff because I really think this organic um, sauce is better for you. So, anyway, so I'm going to make their pizzas, pop it all in the oven, and um, when it's done cooking, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, bye. Hi, Krista here again. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to do a food prep today. Um, I think I just showed you my pizza that we had for dinner. It was delicious. For really, it was just one point. But, um, and I have lots of points left, which is good because I made a um, chocolate pie, which I also put on YouTube, I think yesterday. So um, I'm going to be eating. Because I have enough points, so yay! Okay, so I saw this amazing recipe on um, Nikki Hagen's. I hope I'm saying her name right on her YouTube channel, and it's for um, garlic and herb frittata. So I'm going to make that. Uh, I made a couple changes. Not money. I mean, it it looks amazing. So I wanted to eat more eggs because they fill me up a little better. I love oatmeal, but I always get hungry in the, um, you know, in the morning after I eat them, like a couple hours later. So I thought maybe if I made this frittata, it would be better. So um, anyways, it makes six huge servings, and I've got it down to two points. So I'm going to, um, yeah, make this. So. All right, so I'm going to try to prop you up here. I have this kind of makeshift holder. You'd laugh if you saw it, but... All right, so that's my pan. Let's see if we can, yeah, that will work. Okay, well, maybe we'll just keep it on the pan then for now. I have just about everything cut up anyway, so I have my, um, what's this, nine by 13 pan, and I'm gonna spray this. My oven is already on 350, and it's preheated already, because 
I just made pizzas, so it's still warm. So I'm gonna spray that. Um, she used a whole thing of liquid egg whites. This is gonna make a lot, but even if my family won't eat it, I'll freeze it um, and you know eat it over a couple weeks. So it'll be okay. We'll make it work. I thought it'd be easier to do this. You know, she did egg whites because she's on green, I'm on blue, but um, gosh, this is so much easier to do egg whites. To me, they taste kind of the same, you know, when it's all cooked anyway, so it's okay. So in here I have um, orange and red peppers, and I cut up a half of an onion, a yellow onion. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna put all this in there. It just looked so delicious. I was like, even if nobody eats this but me, I don't care. So, but I love all these vegetables in my eggs anyway, and cheese, so it should be just delightful. All right. So, um, next up, she put in cottage cheese. I have this low-fat cottage cheese, and if you put in a cup and one-third, so one and one-third cup of this low-fat, it's only five points. It's kind of the bulk of, you know, the, it's pretty much the bulk of your uh, points. But that's what kind of makes this frittata a frittata, right? So here's one cup. I'm just going to kind of drop it in here. I'll sort of stir it around. Um, once I get it all in there. So that's one. And here's one third. swirl this in a little bit I really like cottage cheese it you know I don't know it works great in so many things like lasagna and that too I can't tell the difference between ricotta or cottage cheese so and I always tend to forget to eat it when I have it in the fridge but I really like it in recipes so hopefully this will be delicious so we got that and then um, I have this breakfast sausage, it's called Never Any um, Chicken Breakfast Sausage, and this is from Aldi. <clears throat> I do a lot of shopping at Aldi. <laughs> so I love their stuff there. It's inexpensive and yummy. And these here are one point per um, link. But then when you start getting up into higher links, I mean into like a higher amount, then it increases so actually for five links it's six points so we're gonna do five links and that's most of our points you know and this for blue anyway is um, gonna be five points for these six points for the um, six points for the cottage cheese and then one point for the fat-free shredded, shredded cheese which we'll put in there as well so I'm just gonna I'm gonna slice up this and this is already pre-cooked uh, the sausages so I just kind of cut them down the middle and then I'm just gonna slice them up I know you can't see me but kind of hard to adjust my camera. Maybe I'll adjust myself. Oop. Here we go. But this, you know, will make quite a bit in there, so that should be good. And this is very tasty. Um, I 
family liked it too. So that's good. So I'll just cut them down the center. Build it. Bummer. Okay. Anyway. So let's get our little sausage in here. I was determined to at least get this done today. I um I planned to do a bunch of food prep and just nothing really kind of worked out for me. <laughs> I guess that's just how it works out sometimes. That's all right. All right, so we got that. And then uh, let's put the cheese in. I've already weighed this, and this, um, I have it mixed up in here, but it's, she just called for the fat-free mozzarella, but I actually have what's left of that plus some fat-free cheddar. So I have both in here. And um, she calls for 85 grams. Any more than that is two points. So for 85 grams, it's only one point. So in a way, this is kind of like a three cheese frittata, right? Because I got three different kinds of cheeses in it. So that's kind of kind of delish. All right, so we got that. And then um, I'm gonna put my spice in there now. I have this roasted garlic and herb. I'm just going to sprinkle some of this in there. She used um, Mrs. Dash garlic and herb, but I don't have that, so I'm going to use this. And then I'm going to use, I don't think I need too much salt. I shouldn't need too much salt because it's got sausage. And, you know, that fat-free cheese is kind of salty, in my opinion. So we'll just put a little of that in there. Let's put a little pepper in here. All right, and then the last thing is spinach. Fresh spinach, about a half of a bag. I already kind of cut this up so it wouldn't be real big pieces. But um, I'll just kind of place this on the top and then we'll mash it down with the fork so that it gets all cooked into the egg. course you know you could make this however you like it um this is you know she used the same stuff that i like she used a different turkey but uh or sausage i mean but um you know that's what's cool about watching other people's videos you can kind of cater it to what you like so i love that all right so that's that and i think we're all set so like i said i um, set my oven for 350. She originally said that it, you know, she was going to check it in 45 minutes, and then she came back and said it took an hour and 15 minutes. So I don't know how long this will take, but I'll start checking it at 45 to see um, where we're at so that it doesn't burn. But, you know, it is a lot of egg. So we'll see. But either way, I'll be home for the rest of the night, so I'm sure it'll be fine. So let's get this in the oven. Ooh, look at that. So let's get our timer on here. I'll set it for 45 for now. There we go. And then we'll go from there and I'll show you when it comes out. All right, bye. Hi all. So I just got my uh, frittata out of the oven and I'm gonna show that to you and show you how delightful it looks. It's Wow, it smells good in here. It's my husband, Dan. Yummy. <laughs>
So let me put you up and I'll show you um, Ooh, what it looks like. Looks really good. There we go. But it did. It took a really long time. It took an hour and 15 minutes. So, um, but two points a piece, and there's six servings in this. So, I think next time I'll mix it up a little better, <laughs> but it's okay. Hey! Sorry, this is real life here. <laughs> it's okay. Mmm. Okay. So, these are massive pieces. It did take a long time to cook, but wow. Look at the size of that. Oh my gosh. So if I put it in a... Look at that. It almost fills my hole. Yum. So I'm just going to put it in here. I work from home still, so um, I'm just going to put them in here because I'm just going to be eating them each morning. Hopefully my husband will help me eat them. <laughs> we'll see. He's not much of a breakfast person. I am, but he's really not. Oof, look at that. Oh, yummy, and can't wait to have it tomorrow. Ooh, it's still a little hot, too. Put one down on the side here. Ouch. Woo! That was hot. Here we go. Hang on. Let's get this down in there better. Here we go. Look at that. Two points on blue, love it. So um, whatever, I'll probably I'll at least eat this for three days, maybe four, and um, I might freeze the rest. We'll see. We'll see if my husband actually will eat some of it. Maybe my daughter will have some. I don't know. She doesn't really like peppers, so but we'll see. So anyway, looks like a a yummy breakfast. So thanks for watching. And we will see you all soon. All right, bye. Hi again, it's Krista. Um, I'm going to food prep some um, chicken salad. It's actually like buffalo wing chicken salad. Um, and I got the recipe, I don't remember where. I wanna say, might be from Amanda's channel, but I've tweaked it a little bit because I'm kind of a wimp and I can't really handle the hot sauce too much, so. <laughs> but um, I'll show you that. I'm going to make it for my lunches for this week, so. Um, my family is loud. So, anyway, so I'm going to prep this. It makes at least three lunches, so it might make four because I'm going to put some celery in it, so I'll show you that in a minute. Can I show them the yeah, you can. So, let me get this here. Guess hey. what, guys? We got the <laughs> giant zucchini. Look how big this thing is. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try to make some zucchini bread with that yes. later this week, maybe. Yes. Okay. Look how big this thing crazy. is. Crazy. It is crazy. Okay. So, um. Can I have those snacks? Yes, you can have one. Okay, so this here is fat free cream cheese. I just make um, half of her recipe because I'm just making it for me. Nobody else will eat it. So a half of um, fat-free cream cheese. So this is the Walmart brand. So four ounces of that. And then a big can of chicken. So this is, I don't know, some off-brand white chicken breast. It's the good size can. It's 12.5 ounces. And I always rinse it off because it's kind of gross. I don't know. I like it, but only after it's rinsed. <laughs> so.
So anyway, I love chicken though. I can eat chicken every single day. I don't know why I don't, don't make just fresh chicken all the time, but I try to, but something like this is nice and easy. And then I have some lunches already and I don't have to think about what I'm doing. So next up is uh, some dried ranch dressing. This is just an off brand, but to me it all tastes the same. So I don't mind. Um, so we're going to put two tablespoons of this in. One. Make sure, yep, two tablespoons of ranch. There's two. And we'll save this for another day. And then here I got this um, Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Wing Sauce. And I think she used like, I don't know, I think I want to say a quarter of a cup or something is what she had planned to put in it. Or I think that's what she put in it, but I can't handle all that. So I put in two tablespoons. <laughs> it's just too much for me. So two tablespoons is um, one eighth of a cup. I'll tell you, if it's not all in there, just right, it won't close. There we go. Okay, so one eighth of a cup is two tablespoons. Otherwise, it's just so hot that I just can barely eat it. Um, but this is just spicy enough to where it it tastes good. And whoops, uh, I tell ya, I don't know. I'm not, you know, and I never order or liked hot wings or anything like that. So it's kind of funny that I would like this. But, um, but I do, it's like just hot enough to where you like want more. <laughs> so, um, you know, if you're smart, you'll just like let your cream cheese sit out and get warm so that it mixes easier. But I kind of like to do it this way because then I have to kind of crush up the chicken anyway. So just kind of mix this all up really good. I usually just make it just like this and eat it. Um, you can have one third of a cup of this for one point on blue, which is a fantastic amount of food. It really is a huge amount of food, lots of protein, and sometimes I eat it with crackers, um, and sometimes I eat it in a one point wrap. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for. I almost always like it with crackers, um, like the wheat thin. Uh, I think they're low fat wheat thins. I buy the off brand sometimes from Aldi and um, I love it with those. So I'll just see how my points are looking for the day and I'll have, you know, maybe five of those or something with a third cup of this and then um, a handful of carrots. And I'll just use this as a dip with the carrots and the crackers and it's a really good lunch. And then I'll have a piece of fruit or something with it. So. I really like it. So this time I thought to pizzazz it up, I would um, add some celery. I really like celery and chicken salad, but I won't eat it by itself. I don't like it by itself, but I love it in like salads and stuff. So I cut up two stalks of celery. I'm trying to bulk up my vegetables too. I could eat fruit all day, but I'm not as good at eating vegetables. So I thought, well, this will help me get some more veggies in. Plus, whenever I make this, I always eat it with carrots. So I have carrots in the fridge. And, you know, like I said in my previous video that um, I am determined to have a great week. I am just determined to have a great week. So um, I am setting myself up for complete success. And this is how I'm doing it. So, um, so this will be great. This will make three to four. Uh, days worth of lunch. That's quite a bit as you can see Doesn't that look good And you can smell it you really smell that hot sauce, but it seemed to me. It's just the right amount see how it's just like kind of light pink um, But you know, like I said, I'm kind of <laughs> I'm weak when it comes to hot food, so um, But I think this is just the right amount so this will be delightful. I'll have this for um, most of the week, and then I also have some uh, 
uh, grilled chicken in the fridge that I'm going to throw on a salad. So that'll be probably my five days of lunches for the week. So, yay! So I think that this probably concludes what I'm going to post for the day. So, um, so I hope that you all enjoyed my uh, video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm new at this, so I'm learning. I think I still have to add some like hashtag things and stuff like that. I'm trying to figure that stuff out. And I'm not very good at editing, so you you see everything. Because <laughs> I don't take stuff out. I'm not sure how to do it, so I just put it up. So um, feel free to comment, um, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever. So, all right, have a great day. Bye.